Welcome to Classic Confessions LA. Now I'm in my last day in LA and what I thought I would do, because you always ask me after I've been somewhere what I bought, so I thought I would show you what I've bought and take you through it and my justification for it. So the first thing I bought is this hat and it's maybe Coles to Newcastle, but it's such an LA thing to wear a hat and to wear it on the back of your head. I have one in white, which I got in Spain, which a lot of you love, but I particularly love this gray one I got from American Rag. And I don't suit wearing a hat, which goes like that because you can see it makes dark circles and I look a bit like a gangster like that. But I just like this sort of cowgirl on the back of my head look. It evokes for me a sense of relaxed nonchalance. So I'm really happy with that. Number two is this belt. And I got this belt. I've always wanted a really old American um, sort of, you know, leather belt with some nice uh, embroidery on it. And this is a really old one. I got it from Hidden Treasures, which is this fantastic place in Topanga that has vintage clothes and they are very inexpensive. I got a pair of trousers for um, $12 here and I got a pair of other trousers for $14 and I got some sunglasses for $12. So I'm gonna show you all of that. So these are the trousers I got and they're just, they're silk. They were actually $19. And I love the pattern, they're great for summer. I wear them with a white t-shirt. I can wear them like this or I could do my little trick of tucking them up with, I'll just show you a different way of wearing them. I do this a lot, probably with a thinner, um, Hair whatever, hair whatever. I just beat me a bit gaga today. Um, and I could wear them blues on like that as well. It's a great trick to just change trousers for the summer and change their shape and give them something fun. So that's those, such a deal. Um, and I got another pair which are in dispute, especially from Lila. I do appreciate these are not to everyone's taste, but the thing that I love about them <laughs> It's the f I love the fabric. It's like a beautiful, it's a beautiful, I wish you could feel it, wool paisley. And there is the element, Lila, if you're watching my Closet Confessions, made a comment about nappies in the shop. But I think nappies would be if they were there. That feels nappy-like. The fact it's at the knee gives it something else that I like. So it's out for debate. You might all go, what are you talking about? But I think with the hat, you know, we're getting, we're getting to a vibe. Uh, and they were $19. Yeah, well, even if I had them as a scarf, that was yeah. good, because I love the fabric, but I won't. I'm gonna wear them as they are. So excited to find this vintage belt in the store for $18 that I didn't try it on to see if it fit, which is a really bad idea. So I'm gonna try it on now. Uh, but I had wanted forever to have a leathery belt that I could wear with jeans, because I haven't been wearing a belt with jeans for years. I don't know why, I just got out of the fashion of it. Belts are, I always say, one of the best things to buy in vintage stores. And it fits like a glove. I'm so happy. So happy. It's such a nice belt. Um, and just perfect for jeans and maybe with some dress as well. But that was such a bargain and much nicer than a new belt because it looks like I've had it forever. And oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> I just, I love glasses, they make me happy. These are not glasses to wear when you're worried about your eyes, you know, because we're not, I mean, what I mean is like Polaroid, you know, these not Polaroid, these are like fun glasses for a festival. But many of you didn't love these and I was obsessed. It's just that sort of, you know, there's, there was a cartoon where he goes, wing -oh, wing -oh, wing -oh, and it reminded me of that, but I love the color of them. I just think they're an accessory and I'd wear them when it's gently cloudy <laughs> to bring joy. So that's pair number one. They were all $12.99. Um, pair number two, I went crazy. I'm sorry, I just went crazy because I, you know me in glasses. These I adored because I adored the side as well. And I think these are actually Polaroid as well. Those, what do you think? Tell me which ones you think are your favorite pairs. These ones were just because I was looking everywhere and seeing all these people gone to the Elton John concert. He has actually, I think, done a range of glasses, but I just felt that was Elton John like that. I don't actually have, God, the justification when you're on holiday. I don't actually have a gold pair of glasses, quite as gold, quite as gold as this. Um, and then the last pair, 
obviously, which were, I think, the biggest mistake, but I might give to Chloe or somebody who has a broader face than me, were these. Because I adored the blue. I thought it was so cool. And you can tell that they're too broad for my face. Even if I have my hair and wear a hat, can I get away with them? Maybe, no, because you just, my face ends and they continue. And this is the kind of glass I always say to people, don't get glasses that are too big for you beyond here. And I went and didn't listen to myself. So I will give those to somebody as a gift. Oh, and last but not least are my lovely 50s inspiration because who can come to LA and not think of Palm Springs in the 50s? Well, that's what I think of. Um, and think of a 50s housewife like that. And I never thought of wearing these glasses because this shaped glass is very good for somebody who has a heart-shaped face and I don't, but it does lift your face. So instead of dragging down. So on principle, I love those. I got a few other little things that I didn't show you. This was beautiful. This was actually the most expensive thing I bought. It was $95. Um, and it's a really old beaded belt, but it's an original one. And I think I'm gonna have great fun wearing it with different dresses and things. Um, and I love the way the ties were long and I could drape it down and do stuff with it. But it's it beautifully made and it's in perfect condition. And I like the little shells on it too. I'll probably do it over a dress. And I like the width of it because I have one like this in fabric and I always, um, loved using it but it was a tiny bit narrow so this I think so many good colors in it and as I say belts are for life so I adore that and then this this mad thing here which was oh, cheap as chips I think 20 bucks or something but it just I wasn't even sure to get it because you've got to love something when you get things like this and it was quite complicated how it did up. I do like the idea of wearing a t-shirt and a really, I'm trying to find where the ends of these go. I did do it in the shop like that. Like a, a very casual t-shirt and a very full on necklace there. So I think the best things to buy uh, when you're away for, in terms of bring back in your suitcase and other things are accessories like this. Uh, and probably the worst things to buy are shoes, which I have bought as well. So that's my hidden treasures in Topanga shop up hall with all those glasses. And I'm going to show you some shoes now. Let's talk about the justification behind these shoes, which I got at Fred Siegel in Malibu Mart. I don't have for summer closed toe high heels and sometimes I don't like my toes. So I got these and I think what I liked about them is they were very um, neutral, the shade. It's a real like skin tone beige and they had a gold heel. Uh, they have a little strap, but the strap is not one that grabs your ankle and kills it. And they have a sturdy heel, which I need. So with dresses, I think they'll be good. Now how comfortable they are, I don't know, but when I walked around the shop, I felt they're comfortable. And my nails are quite long at the moment. I felt, are they too short for me? But I love them. Um, let me show you a close up in the other mirror. Here we are in my closet and there they are like that practical comfortable and they work and i have to say they also came in black and silver so i did get them in that too so whilst we're down on shoes i got these trainers and these are from a company in la called hoka not an la company but it's like a a friend of mine, we were going on a hike and I didn't have any um, trainers for hiking. And she said, oh, go and get another coolest thing in LA. I don't know if they are or not, but they were Trini London Yellow. And these are for, these are actually for marathon runners. So that's really not me, but they are so light and unbelievably comfortable. I've never worn a more comfortable trainer. I haven't bought trainers for about um, six years. So I felt that I could get a new pair. And you know, I have the Stella yellow ones, which I adore, but they're getting a bit worn. Anyway, hoka. When I'm out here or in New York, I always go to the Real Real because it's a resale site which has a physical location and they stock great designers. They stock designers I love. And I got three steels. I call them steels because I know how much these things were originally and I really coveted them. And when you look at something originally and then you find it in a resale store, at a fraction of the price, you just think, wow. So this is a J.W. Anderson shirt. And I just love how, I love the shape. It's, for me, it gives that shoulder, it gives a little bit of something different. You can wear a chill pair of jeans and you have something that is a statement on top. 
it might be too much for some people. I personally adore it. I like the button done up at the top and then undone like that. I probably wouldn't have the belt with it. I'd keep it clean, but it is masterful. Take off your Anderson. Oh, such a steal. I wasn't sure about this, but there was something about, about the boobs out that I liked. Wow. This is Saloni. This is from The Real Real as well. Trini London Yellow, which I love. And I'm thinking, what are the different ways I can wear it? Because this is a way that I've got to feel super confident to wear it. I've got to feel my skin feels good here. It might be out in a Greek, on a Greek island kind of thing. But how can I do it for London? Because I'd never wear it like this in London. So let's have a look. Ow! <laughs> Knocked into the door. I love the idea of it with a white t-shirt underneath. And then you just feel you've got the shape of the bustier but it's the shoulder pads in the t-shirt that make this work because if it was an unshoulder padded t-shirt or if the um, t-shirt had sleeves, I wouldn't like it as much because I like this line here and what it creates. So adore this and I'll wear this in London. It's cotton, breathable, fab, and I'll probably wear it on a cloudy day um, with these. You know, I haven't worn sort of sexier summer dresses for a while and. And I like what that is all about. And this is my Target trouser. Now, this is for the bedtime, I think, but I would wear it during the day with a trainer. Very nice cotton. And I've got something that I also bought, which I don't know if it will go with it. This is from The Real Real again, and this is a Celine shirt. It's one that years ago I wanted to buy and I hadn't bought and it had just such a beautiful sleeve. I'm putting it on over the t-shirt so you won't get the full idea. It's just such a lovely A-line sleeve and I don't think it goes with this because I don't know how to do that, how worry yet. But even if I just, you know, wanted to do something floppy, but like small pinstripe with a bigger pinstripe, Target Celine. That's me, in a nutshell. So before we finish, I'll take you into the bathroom and show you what we got. Um, from the um, uh, one. So one thing I love doing when I'm in the States is going to health food stores. And I went to a really good one I always go to in West Hollywood. And I also went to Air One, which is Lila's, anyone who has a teenager would want their, their child wants to go to Air One in LA. It's like this thing, very overpriced um, shop, but everything beautifully presented. I did little uh, stories on it, but I got some interesting brain food that I want to try. And this is Alpha Brain, helps memory and focus. And I just got it recommended to me, so I'm trying that one. I've also got NeuroQ Memory and Focus Daily Boost. I'm trying to tell you something here, aren't I? So this is longevity. Now there's a lot of stuff in LA around things to do with longevity and supplements to do with longevity. And what's interesting about supplements in America compared to the UK is what you're allowed to see on the back of packs. So for example, these are magnesium soft chews and I really love magnesium. It's magnesium citrate and malate. Now citrate might make you go to the loo and malate is good for just calming and unwinding. That's why ultimately also the citrate does that too, but it can be still softening. Uh, but it says here, doctor formulated um, and it mentions the chief medical advisor and it says to an extent what it's gonna do. So it will say calm, they contain a highly absorbable magnesium combined with citrate and malate. Each chew is individually wrapped for convenience, blah, blah, blah. These chews may, yeah, they have to do that, ease muscle tension and promote a sense of calm and relaxation. Anyway, I love them. Uh, what else here? I got this. Now, I've got this at Victoria Health, but it is a US brand and it's called um, Terminant Miracle. And this is a leave-in conditioner. It's very good for your hair when it's feeling dry at the ends. And then I've got also a really good GABA and L theanine, which I'm wanting to try together. And also this Lipo Calm, which is another one to take at night, a few drops. So great stuff. They also have the, um, I don't know if you can get this in England. I haven't seen in England, but I adore these. Um, you know, I use a lot of Epsom salts at night and I use better use Epsom salts. I use these last night, the ones with lavender, they're great. But this one, which is Bathorium Crush, Ancient Oat Hydration, five pure essential oils. And I put that in my bath last night. I, this is a new pack. And I got out, my skin was so soft. Just utterly brilliant. So that's it. Anything else I bought? Oh yes, and I bought some deodorant, <laughs> um, which is from Bite. 
and it smells delicious and it comes in a refillable container and then you put it in the casing. So I haven't put some on today, so let me just do that. <laughs> and we're done, I think. I hope you've enjoyed my little LA shop up trip for Closet Confessions. Um, and Lila's just woken up. We better get on with our day. Bye.